alcohol. I knew this was gonna come up. Of course it did, yes. I knew you're, you, were, you were setting me up for this one. They were doing a Pride event in Canada and Bianca Del Rio made a joke about um, rape. She made a, a rape joke about mm -hmm. me and, and definitely was like laughing about me and saying that I was using my personal stories for personal gain, some sort of thing. And, and she was definitely saying, if you haven't been raped, you're ugly. Wow. So I'm gonna drop that there. But I will say that people have asked me to comment about her, and I think people have wanted me to comment negatively mm -hmm. about Miss Bianca Del Rio. And I will say that I respect her very much as a person. I love her as a person. I see her for who she is, and I, I really respect her career. I don't hold anything negative against her because I think we all say things, and I, I'm in no place to judge her. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. I will, but I, I would be lying if I said that it didn't upset me. Because yeah. it definitely upset me. It definitely hurt me. And I definitely felt some sort of ink. I felt like it was my job to kind of let my fan base know that people who say stuff like this, it's not okay. You know, and because I related to that, I have so many people that do relate to my story. And so many people that are following, you know, my journey and everything that I, that I talk about and my platform because it is so heavily based on um, what I reveal on Drag Race. So I, I almost felt like it was a duty of mine to kind of settle the air a little bit. Yeah, and do you feel like, because the Drag Race fan base, sometimes if one queen gives them permission to make fun of something for someone mm -hmm. uh, in that way, that then they, they, it opens the floodgates. Did you feel like that was something that happened after that? You know, I don't think that any type of joke to be made about rape could be an open floodgate. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't think that's that's okay. And no. it, but it especially, I have to detach myself too because obviously, that's something that's specially connected to me. You know, there are things that I don't understand and things that I don't connect with that I may hear a joke and maybe I'll chuckle. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So that's something obviously she doesn't connect to, and it's something that rubbed me the wrong way. But it was definitely a, a test to me. Yeah. For sure, to, to kind of say. Not everything that is said is an attack. Mm -hmm. I don't think her intention was to attack me. I don't think her intention was negative. And um, if it was, I forgive her. Uh huh. Do you think that, uh, do you get that sentiment from anyone that, that she had said like, why did you suddenly reveal this on the episode you're being eliminated? Did you feel like you had to defend yourself from that? Um, I think some people have asked that question, and I think some people have maybe insinuated that, but I don't feel any sort of need to defend it because mm -hmm. I know the truth. Yeah. And you don't need to defend something that you know wholeheartedly well when said. you believe it. Any other comments? Yeah, I, I would say, like, it, it, to wrap everything you know, in conclusion, there are going to be many things that are said, and that I may say in life as well, that people aren't going to want to hear, mm -hmm. and that we may think is inappropriate but people are learning people are human we can't necessarily say that ever we can't hold everyone at an expectation that they're perfect uh -huh. and so if there's one thing that i can say about bianca is that with even without an apology i still forgive her for the remarks that were said and i, I hope that maybe we've all learned to just love people a little bit more and stop you know i don't think that all jokes need to jab at people's um the negativity of the world i think some better jokes can be made and i think better comedians can make um jokes that aren't digs at people's personal life.